Uh, today I'm joined here with Jerry Duhame from Carlson Travel. How are you doing today? Just fine, thank you for having me. Thank you. Um, so today we're going to talk a little bit about um, traveling and just some tips and tricks that people can use when uh, picking what trip they want to go on and all that. So can you just tell me a little bit of information on um, just tips and uh, advice that you oh, would sure, have? Sure, absolutely. Uh, there's numerous ways to travel. If you prefer to travel independently, then of course you can just we can set you, set you up with an airline ticket and perhaps your first night hotel, and then you can away you can go. For example, if you're going to Europe, you could buy a rail pass and travel around Europe uh, from city to city on one rail pass. It takes you for two or three months of travel. Or if you run to travel with something that's organized, there's different tour companies that we have that provide uh, organized uh, itineraries where your transportation is included, your accommodation is included, your sightseeing is included, two meals a day are included. So there's really no hassles. Everything's looked after for you. And there's also some tours like that for people who are between the ages of 18 and 35, designed specifically for the young people who want to have a lot of fun. And their moniker is as much fun as you can handle. So if you're 18 to 35, you have somebody who's graduating or you want to give somebody a gift that's in that age group and they're traveling by themselves as a single, that's a perfect product to use. We've had numerous people go, young professionals who've graduated from school who are looking for something to do and are traveling by themselves and are a little bit concerned about safety things. This would be a great way to go. Super well organized, lots of fun, lots of extra activities that, that they do together as a group. And how can people uh, let, for example, younger uh, people uh, be able to afford or go around having to spend a whole bunch of money on um, traveling? Well, like I say, there's uh, there's budget travel that you could do. I mean, there, there's airfares to all different cities. If you didn't want to go to Europe, but you just wanted to stay in London, you could fly directly to London on numerous different airlines. And the big thing that cut costs would be to buy a rail pass or a bus pass. And then some people like to stay in hostels or bed and breakfast, and those are available too. You can either be pre-booked, which we recommend for the first couple of nights. Maybe your first night and your last night, so you know you're going to you have a place to go when you first get there. Maybe the last night so you know where you're going to end up and get back to the airport in time to catch your flight. So those things are available at a reduced cost. And for people who don't normally travel but they're looking to book um, like an all expense paid trip to like tra tropical, how can they tell if it's actually what they're getting? Um, if it's like their first time using travel sites or um, going to these places, how can people know that they're getting what they're being told that they're getting? Well, we encourage our clients to, to research all they want online if they want to check out the resorts and see what the uh, what they're offering. But then we recommend coming into us because we either have been there or we have knowledge of the destination or we can contact our representatives who have been there and get them first-hand information. So there are certain criteria that we use to rate our resorts. Uh, if it's a five-star, we need to know that it has maybe f four or five different a la carte restaurants uh, and probably one buffet restaurant. If you're going to stay in a three-star or a two-star property, then maybe only have one a la carte restaurant, which is like a sit-down order off the menu type of a restaurant, or uh, maybe only one buffet restaurant. So we're very limited in some of the amenities that the hotel offers. The higher the rating, usually the more amenities, and of course the higher the cost. So it depends what you had in mind. And what can people expect when they come in and get a, uh, come in and talk to you? I think what they can expect is to get some advice. And a lot of, some people will come in and say, you know, I've looked at this hotel, I want to book it. And we'll say, well, have, what research have you done on it? And they said, I just found it online. We'll say, well, do you realize that it's under renovations and that there's going to be construction going on for the next six months? Uh, is that the kind of vacation you want to have? And, you know, because we'll, we know what's going on at the destinations and we check them out before uh, we send people there. So it's personal and advice. And quickly, just before we wrap up, uh, how can people get in contact with you? They can call us at 780-875-4414. Uh, uh, we have a website through our head office, Carlson Bog and Lee Travel, or pop into our office. We're right by Mr. Bills and behind Tim Hortons. Okay, Anytime. perfect. Thank you so Thank much you for much. joining us. Nice meeting you. Thanks.